everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are in the studio today because we have a tutorial for you, which is how to do a side aerial. So if this is a skill that you want to do or want to perfect, then stick with us. We've got loads of progressions to help. And I will also have four glamorous assistants arriving shortly who are gonna help me to demonstrate all of the things that you need to practice. and practice. Without those things you are going to struggle to get an aerial in one day. Now in order to do a good aerial you need to have one thing before you start to even do any of these progressions and that is a really solid and powerful cartwheel. Without that you are really going to struggle so practice your cartwheel if you're still working on it, stick with it until it's solid, until it's powerful and then you can start these progressions. Okay one safety thing, make sure you warm up first before you try any of these progressions. A warm up is really important because you're going to be doing a lot of repetition on the same leg. So make sure you've done some sort of cardio, then do some lower body stretches, particularly working on hamstrings because they're going to be stretched during your aerial. And make sure you've also warmed up your ankles because when you're learning aerials, sometimes your landings are a little bit heavy. And so you need to make sure your ankles are fully warm and then you'll be good to go. Okay, now that we've got all of that out of the way, we are ready to go. We're going to get set up in here. We're going to get our warm up done and then we'll get going with our progressions. We are here, we are ready, we are warmed up, and these are our glamorous assistants. I'm Lizzie. I'm Leslie. I'm Annabelle. I'm Emily. Okay, so first off, remember we said we need to do a cartwheel first. They're going to show you their wonderful cartwheel. Get ready. Ready, steady, and go! Cartwheel! Very nice, go ahead and do one more. Now they're gonna try and get their split as wide as they can because that's gonna help us in our aerial. So really wide legs this time. Off you go. Okay, so progression one is gonna be in your lunge that you're gonna do for your cartwheel or your aerial. So put your cartwheel leg forwards. You're gonna start with arms up. And all you're going to do is swing your arms quickly backwards into a low V behind you and then back up again as fast as you can. Down and up. Nice and strong. And again. Down. down and up. Keep your head up. Just the arms. That's it. Keep going. Give me a few more. Be strong in your core. Very nice. Make sure your arms are powerful. Make sure they're strong. Make sure they stay straight. Good. Okay. That's progression one. Progression two is we're going to add in body to that. So with your arms, you're going to swing them behind as you just did. Your body is going to drop, so your chest is going to go down to your thigh, and you're going to look a little bit in front of your front foot. Then you're going to swing back up like you just did. All right, so body down, arms into a V behind you, and then swing back up. Squeeze your tummy muscles on the way back up so you don't fall over. Right, do me about five of those. Down and up, nice and strong. That's it, keep going. Well done, squeeze on the way up. Okay, so we've got progression number one with your strong arm swing. Progression number two, you drop your chest with your swing. Now we're going to add on progression number three, which is a kick with your back leg. So you're going to swing, drop your chest, kick your back leg, and then recover up nice and strong. Try and keep really powerful on that front leg. That's where you're going to keep your strength. That's it. Keep that back leg straight as you come back up. Have a few goes. And then come back up. That's it. So the thing about this that makes 
makes it a little bit scary is you're hopping once your chest and your head is down. So as you hit that bottom position here, then you do your hop and then you recover up. That's why you need strength in this leg and flexibility in your back leg. You don't want to be kind of here. You want to drop it all the way down. Arms in a V, kick that back leg, then you do your hop, then you recover. Chest all the way down, that's better. Right, get ready. Arms up, so when you push off this leg, want to try and stretch your foot to give you a little bit of extra lift at the same time. Right, all together, ready, steady, and go. Swing, stretch, and come up. That's it, and again. Swing, hop, and recover, back up. Two more, go. Swing, hop, well done. One more, swing, hop. Good. So next one is a flying cartwheel. This is quite hard coordination wise. So pay attention. You are going to start exactly the same. As you go into your cartwheel, you hit this position. So chest is down, leg is up. Then you circle your arms round. Then you go into your cartwheel. After that. Make sure your arms do a full circle. So from here, your arms are going to go down, back behind you, up then on the floor. Oh, yeah. So do it in slow motion, you go down, your leg lifts up, you should hit this position, leg up, eyes down, arms in a V, then your arms go round your head, then you go cartwheel. When you've got your coordination with this, you can add in the hop off your front leg like we did earlier. So you're going to go leave the floor and then catch yourself on the way round. That was nice, Edmund. Right, give, give it a little go. Try and leave the floor. That's it. Good. You can also do a step hop into it and then go into your flying cartwheel. Traveling really far, your chest is going down, so you shouldn't travel no, a big enough. distance. Yeah. There okay. no, All right, so when you go down, chest is down that leg, and then the skill happens almost on the top. Not too much. Okay, that's it. okay, last progression before we actually attempt an aerial is a pop cartwheel. So you're gonna go step pop into your cartwheel normally and then you're going to shrug your shoulders in your cartwheel to try and get a bit of flight time before you land. So your hands are going to be touch the floor briefly, you take them off a little bit sooner than you would normally and then you land with your feet. So let's have a go at these. Step pop, pop cartwheel. benefit of some equipment which sometimes helps them get their aerials um, going off a little height is often a good idea like the wedge at the back because then going downhill it gives you a bit more air time this one is just a little power pod <laughs> and a bit of um, which gives a little bit more spring which also helps so sometimes we get these out just to give them a bit of a helping hand and then when they go back to doing their aerials after it's easier if you're outside you can do it going down a hill, which often helps as well. So that's something to consider if you don't have any equipment. Um, but these guys are going to have a few goes on here, and then we'll go back to the floor and see if they're any better. progression from everybody. So we're going to go little run, step hop, think about all of those points that we did, chest down, swing your arms, wide leg. 
legs over the top. Nice landing. All right, let's give it a go.